Being a top athlete in Monster Energy Supercross or any professional sport requires significant levels of pressure, responsibility, and sacrifice. The pressure would be performing in front of the 50,000 fans and being afraid to lose. Responsibility was having a team that could count on you and being responsible for their livelihood. The sacrifice was about everything in life came second to racing. Why do we do this? Because winning is like no other feeling in the world. Let's see what two other Supercross legends have to say about their experiences. And Ryan Villapoto wins his third championship in a row! Once you start winning and getting a role going, winning is almost uh, expected. Even a podium becomes like, ah, oh, well, we've lo we lost. Here goes Carmichael, a great leap off the triple. Ricky Carmichael, the 250 champion. You know, there's always a lot of pressure to win. And uh, if you didn't win, everyone wanted to know why you didn't. I took a lot of stress and I put the team's weight on my shoulders. I felt bad for them if I didn't win. To stay motivated through that time, you try to find little goals that you want to achieve each year. We get pulled in a bunch of different directions, you know, from TV to, you know, different appearances. And uh, we try to make the best of it, but we're there to do a job. And number one, you're there to win and then everything else falls underneath of that. A lot of riders have what it takes to win as far as speed goes, but there's some things you can't teach. I was born to ride a motorcycle, but guys that I raced against had a lot more talent than I did, but what I did have is work ethic, and I worked harder than those guys because I just lacked a little bit more talent than they did, and that's what got me over the hump, but it's like that in any top sport. It's a 24-7 job of you know riding, training, eating, just the lifestyle itself. It's a big reward to win. All those times, of you know sacrificing it was a fantastic experience something i'm very proud of and i got to do a lot of things that no one will ever be able to do